Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrei. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to... To someone completely new, Natalie Merchant. Welcome on your Merchant of Alba channel. Yes, uh, that's our <laughs> first reaction to Natalie Merchant on Merchant of Alba and Wife channel. That's uh, The title of the song is What's the, What's the Matter Here? Oh, okay. Uh, this was requested by Angelica. Thank you very much Thank for you. your request. Uh, Angelica always requests something different and I'm very mm. excited because it's, some, it's for us to discover mm. another, uh, another artist we never heard of. So thank you again. Thank uh, you. I hope we like it. I'm sure we will. All right. But anyway, yeah, let's, let's, it's a live from 2005. Okay. She's an American artist, wasn't she? Yeah. We read a little bit about her that she was in a band, 10,000 10, Maniacs. Maniacs. Yeah, and, and she then left she in went in 1993 and she started her solo career. Solo career. Yeah. Okay. Well, All so right. I think this is her solo then 2005. That's yeah. yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yes. This next song is a very early song. It was written about 12 years ago when I was working with a band called 10,000 Maniacs. Oh. It was a song I wrote about a little boy who was neglected and abused. Um, in my neighborhood, there was a house. It was that kind of house, I'm sure you've seen them before, the kind that seemed to have a black aura about them, the kind of house that you'd walk on the other side of the street just to not have to walk in front of it because of you know, the energy that it emanates at the garbage-strewn yard and broken windows stuffed with rags the large, vicious dog on a short leash that had, um, you know, dug a circular circumference into the yard over years of running in circles. Um, the battered, upholstered couch on the porch, that sort of thing. Um, but at this particular house, there was also a little boy, a very beautiful, harmless, innocent child. I'd see him playing on the front steps with a broken toy or maybe digging in the dirt with a spoon. He liked to do that. But I, every time I would walk by the house, I would hear this voice coming out of the open door, screaming obscenities at him. And I never really understood why. I mean, what could he do? I'd like to take a moment, take a deep breath, and then we're going to play this song, What's the Matter Here? Maybe before the song starts. It's... Well, her voice and how she said the story just make you ready mm -hmm. to... Pierce your heart a little bit, is it? Wow. You okay? Yeah, yeah. It's just... You cannot help it, right? It's exactly how you say, you know. She, her... she barely. Mm -hmm. her... She holds it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You did you want to say something? Sorry. I, I don't know. I just want to say that uh, most probably it's going to be very emotional performance, isn't it? Especially when you think about something um, taken from the real life, isn't it? It, it? it, it's a little bit different impact, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Having on you the song. So, wow. Away. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah.
to the song is uh, she gave a really really sad intro to the song isn't mm-hmm. it the story was really disturbing even when you think mm-hmm. about it uh, it's when you start you know she just gave you a little bit uh, um, mm-hmm. sort of like a preview to the story and your imagination is like running wild kind mm-hmm. of that you you're starting to go a little bit further you know that some for someone who was passing by that's what they notice but for this kid they cannot pass by they staying in that you know you pass by and you forget about mm-hmm. it sort of and the kid is never going to forget about it it's a um, it's very disturbing to think about it that but there is a lot of still happening a lot of things like that in the world uh but for for the such a sad intro the the song sounds Maybe not optimistic, but the music is a little bit like lifting mm-hmm. your mood. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. And her voice is so soft and warm, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah, that, that's for sure. I I didn't expect when she started with the story, and we we already say, "Oh my yeah. god!" We and then the song is in a way such a nice comfort. Yeah, in a way. comfort even, exactly. Even her if voice... we expect something probably dramatic from yeah. the introduction. It's just feel, oh my God, she's so beautiful voice. And uh, I don't know, she's such a beautiful soul. How she would say it in a way, it's a bad story. And, uh, mm-hmm. But she make it to sound not really, I, I know what you mean. Uh, wow. Yeah, I do like it. I do yeah, like it yeah. so much. The voice, I don't know. It's, just, it's a very comforting. It's feel, exactly I, I listen say. to someone the same with the same kind of vibe. I don't know how to take it or where to put it. But it's such a beautiful voice. Uh, I'm curious because um, Angelica say she been to the concert a few times. Yeah. So, She's seen her life. Yeah, yeah that's correct. That's cool. Is I it? do like concerts like that. It's, it's, it seems like more, although when we are watching the live shows, the, the the crazy ones, I was like, oh my god, I, I wish I had the courage to be there. But this kind of concert, a little bit more intimate. You you're mm-hmm. just sitting there and you listening there. You just the main focus is on the artist and their voice, mm-hmm. nothing else. Uh, it's so beautiful. This one is kind of more personal, kind yes, of thing, more yes, intimate, yes. Uh, in in kind of yeah. So beautiful. Should we continue? Yes, please.
Thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I uh, it's sort of like you listen to that. We didn't really stop. It was so mm -hmm. I guess it's it's very very like a soft and warm kind of song, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you just can listen with a smile on your face. Her voice is beautiful. That's for sure. The music, like I said, the music, it gives you this comforting kind of feeling. Um, I, I, I couldn't stop thinking one thing, what happened to a boy? Because this mm -hmm. song, so 2005, she, uh, she performed that song and it was written 12 years from then. I wonder what happened with the boy, does mm -hmm. she know? But anyway, um, this aside, as the song itself, uh, mm -hmm. was very, very beautiful. That's true. I, I wonder myself, how was, um, if we didn't hear that story in the front, how you the feel? The perception of the song, it, it's yeah. A bit, that adds so much to it, That's the, true. the story, That's true. why you write it, how it was the deal, and even how she explained, she said the things, it was such a... But I did really like how she did go, and because she had such a beautiful voice, and she was, yeah. she was just do it so nice. And I even forgot the the beginning a bit during. I still listen the lyrics, yeah. while, but it's just a bit. She, yeah, the ability with I don't know it was so beautiful. It was very beautiful, very very beautiful. Thank you so much, Angelica. Right, thank you. All right, hope you enjoy our reaction, and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now.